Are you someone who identifies as neither an introvert nor an extrovert? To start, it's important to describe what we mean by introvert and extrovert. Generally speaking, an introvert is someone who recharges by spending time alone and prefers spending time with one or two friends. Extroverts, on the other hand, dislike being by themselves and need quality time with others to recharge. They're often outgoing and very talkative. However, things are not always black and white. And a lot of people might actually feel like they fit certain characteristics of both introverts and extroverts. So with that said, here are six signs you might be an introverted extrovert. Number one, you're great with people. Do you feel like you're great with people even when you enjoy being by yourself very often? As an introverted extrovert, you'll have two of the main personality traits from both introverts and extroverts. You're extremely comfortable being by yourself as it allows you to recharge and process your thoughts and emotions after a busy day. But at the same time, you're great with people and can easily show your charming and funny side in front of a large group of people. However, unlike extroverted people, you don't have unlimited energy when hanging out with a lot of people and you'll eventually try to find time alone to recharge again. Number two, you're the go-to shoulder for all of your friends. How often do people come to you for advice or simply for a friend to listen to them? As an introverted extrovert, people in your circle of friends know that you're happy to talk and spend quality time with them without necessarily seeing it as a hassle. At the same time, you have the empathetic powers that come with your introverted side. You're able to understand and process other people's feelings to the point where you feel them yourself, making you a great listener, an excellent advisor for people who are struggling with their problems. Number three, you love being alone, but still get lonely. Do you seek and enjoy time alone, but still get lonely? Although you need and love alone time to recharge your batteries and could spend an entire day without talking to anyone, your extroverted side still craves the interaction and quality time that you spend with your family and friends, making you feel lonely from time to time if you're lacking it. Since you have two possibly contradicting personality traits, there is a very fine line between enjoying your alone time and feeling lonely. Do these signs describe you so far? We also have a video on extroverted introverts. Stick around to the end. Number four, you're more vulnerable than people realize. Are you someone who is talkative, but doesn't like to reveal too much about yourself? Being more vulnerable than people realize is one of the signs that you're an introverted extrovert. Because of your extroverted side, people often know you for being very confident and outgoing when it comes to social interaction. Additionally, your talkative and carefree nature will give people the idea that they know you very well. In reality, there are some things about you that most of your friends don't know. Not only that, but due to your introverted side, you're actually less carefree and more self-reflective than people think. Number five, people will either recharge or drain you. Have you noticed that different individuals have different effects on your energy levels? Having the characteristic of feeling recharged by certain individuals and drained by others is one of the signs that you're an extroverted introvert. Unlike introverts, you don't necessarily feel drained when interacting with some people, but at the same time, unlike extroverts, you don't necessarily feel recharged when hanging out with others. It'll all depend on who you're talking to, which shows your empathetic nature. In other words, you'll find yourself channeling the same energy as the person you're talking to. You'll feel more relaxed when interacting with someone quieter and shyer and more excited and tired when interacting with someone energetic and passionate. And number six, you speak a lot within your group of friends, but get incredibly shy when meeting new people. Do you drastically change as the environment you're in changes? If it takes you some time to warm up to a new environment and new people, chances are that you're an introverted extrovert. You might be one of the people who speaks the most within your group of friends, but when it comes to speaking to new people and adapting to new environments, you become incredibly shy and quiet until you start feeling comfortable. Again, you show personality features that describe both introverts and extroverts. You'll take your time to get accustomed to new people and environments due to your introverted side, but once you are set and comfortable, you'll become one of the most outgoing and talkative individuals in this new group of friends. Did you relate to any of these signs? As mentioned before, we also have a video on extroverted introverts. Be sure to check it out if you haven't already.